Hello everyone, it's PC Alpa here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix crashing and black screen issues for the game Project Cars 3. A lot of users have been complaining about this problem, so I'll cover each and every workaround that has helped different users across the globe. So, what you have to do is just watch this video till the end and perform each and every step very carefully, and I'm sure your problem will surely be fixed. But if anyhow this problem still persists, then you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. And I want you all to know in the beginning of this video only that I only keep limited games in the PC I use for recording, so I will use the game NBA 2K20 to demonstrate what you have to do with your game Project Cars. So just do the exact same things I'll do for the game NBA 2K20 to your game Project Cars 3. And if you're watching this video for the first time, I want you all to know that I post regular gaming content, so make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one. I consider this step to be a mandatory step before performing any further steps. In this, we'll be clean booting a PC. So what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts too. So if your game was not installed properly on your PC, then clean booting might help in that case. So it is a really important step and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a really quick guide on how to do so. I've provided the link of that video in the description of this one. So just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. I consider this step to be a mandatory one. So yeah, just perform this step first and then proceed to any further steps. A number of viewers wrote on the Steam and Reddit forums of this game that this step is working for them. So I'm going to show it to you. So what you have to do is, as I've already mentioned in the beginning of this video only that I'm not having this game in the PC I use for recording. So I'm going to use the game NBA 2K20 to demonstrate what you have to do with your game you are playing right now. So what you have to do is just right click on your game and go to its properties in Steam. You have to do the same with your game. I'm using NBA 2K20 to just demonstrate what you have to do. And here go to local files. And here you have to make sure that you verify the integrity of your game files and it will start validating. And once you have done it, then most probably your problem will be fixed. So what you have to do is just verify the integrity of your game files, restart your PC and then try running your game. Then most probably it will be fixed. But if it's still not working, then proceed to the second step. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. In properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings and in settings make sure you are in advanced settings. In advanced settings you have to go to programs, select programs here and click on change. And now comes the most important part. Here deselect automatically manage paging files size for all drives. And now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So for example, I only have C drive, so I will select this. But if you have your game installed in D drive, then select the D drive. Now you have to select custom size here. And now the question is what you have to enter here. So in initial size, you have to enter the recommended size here. As you can see recommended here, recommended for me is 1896 MB. So initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896. Now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here. And if you have 8 gigs of RAM, my PC has 8 gigs of RAM. So just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192. So you just have to enter your RAM in MB. So 8192 should be for 8 GB of RAM. But if you have 16 gigs of RAM, just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size. Now for 32 gigs of RAM, you should enter 32 into 1024, that is 32768. And lastly, let's cover for 12 gigs of RAM too, that is 12 into 1024. And it is equal to 12 to double eight. So you have to enter it in the maximum size. Now you have to just click on OK, apply these settings, and it will ask you to restart your PC to apply these settings. So just restart your PC and your problem will be most probably fixed. But if it's still not fixed, then proceed to the next step. For this step also, I'll use the game NB 2K20 to demonstrate what you have to do. So in this step, we will be giving administrator privileges to first of all the launcher that is Steam or if you're using Origin to play, so just search for Origin, but I use Steam, so just right click on it and run it as an administrator. Once you have run Steam as an administrator, you have to make sure that you go to your game and again I'm showing with the example of NB 2K20, you have to do the same with your game and here go to local files and here go to uh, where it is browse local files and in browse local files you have to search for your .exe file that is the main game file and right click on it and go to its properties and here go to compatibility options 
and run this program in compatibility mode for just remain it unchecked don't click on it and just select disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator apply this setting click on ok and then try running your game then also your problem might be fixed if any of the previous step did not work for you then it is a really important step I have not included this step in the beginning of this video only otherwise people think like that it is a video full of paid promotions but it is not like that the thing is if you download any PC repair tool it might help you in fixing problems like these I have already made a video on one such software that is Outbyte PC Repair, System Optimizer and Performance Booster. What you have to do is, you just have to download it and the best part about this software is, it gives you one free repair in the trial version also. So you don't have to buy the software for one repair but if you want to repair your PC constantly in one month or every week then you might have to buy the premium version. But the thing is, the first repair is free so just download the software, scan your PC and if there is any error then repair it. Then restart your PC and then try running your game. I will provide the link of this video in the description. So just download this and I hope this works for you. But if it doesn't, then proceed to the next step. Now, this step is a really interesting one and an important one at the same time. It is very interesting because a lot of users think because they have updated their windows and they have updated their GPU then their PC is up to date. But that's not it. Because while gaming, a lot of other drivers are used. For example, your display adapters, your network adapters, your keyboard and mouse drivers. And these are not updated regularly with your Windows update. So what you need to do is, you have to just go to Google and download any driver updater. There are many third party softwares which just scans for all the drivers and update them one by one. So if you are unable to figure out which software to download here, then you can just watch my videos on one of such softwares that is Driver Booster 7. I will provide the link of this video in the description. In this video I have shown how to download this software, install this software and use it to update your drivers. Also it has many interesting tools like you can fix no sound issues, fix device error, fix network failure, fix bad resolution. So you can do these things also but it's still up to you. If you want to download any other software you can download it but if you want to download this one I'll provide the link of this video in the description of this one. So that's it for this step. So I believe that is it for this video. I hope it worked for you. If it worked for you then please leave a like. If you have any question write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. Thank you and have a nice day.